For thousands of years, humankind has been fascinated with the stars, observing space from Earth and wondering what could be out there. But it wasn't until October 1957 that technology advanced far enough for the space age to really start, when the Soviet Union successfully launched the satellite Sputnik 1. Then, just four years later, on April 12th, 1961, the Soviet pilot Yuri Gagarin became the first human to travel into space and orbit the Earth, reaching an altitude of about 202 miles. Since then, we have been actively travelling back into space, with manned missions to the moon, artificial satellites and probes visiting celestial objects, a permanent human presence aboard the International Space Station, and even space tourism. For more than 50 years, we have been leaving Earth's atmosphere and exploring the heavens, but how far have we actually been into space? When it comes to human beings travelling through space and away from Earth's gravitational grasp, we haven't been very far at all, considering how big space actually is. In fact, the record for the greatest distance from Earth has stood for more than four decades. In April 1970, the crew of NASA's Apollo 13 mission swung around the far side of the moon, putting them 248,655 miles away from Earth. This is the farthest our species has ever been from our home planet. Unless you count the part remains of the man who discovered Pluto, Clyde Tombaugh, who died in 1997, had a dying request for his ashes to be sent into space, and in 2006, a small container carrying a portion of his remains was fixed to NASA's New Horizon probe. The incredible probe completed its flyby of Pluto in 2015 and is now travelling towards the mysterious Kuiper Belt, before eventually leaving the solar system altogether, making Tombar's ashes the first to journey so far. But current space exploration for living humans to other planets and beyond is not available. There are lots of problems when it comes to sending humans into space on long voyages and it will be many years before people set foot onto another planet. Because of how dangerous space is for humans, exploring the heavens is mostly done with robots and computers that are controlled by people on Earth. Various unmanned spacecrafts have explored or are still exploring areas of the solar system, but the current farthest man-made object in space is Voyager 1. This classic space probe was launched in 1977 along with its twin Voyager 2 to explore the outer planets and incredibly was the first artificial object to reach interstellar space. It officially entered interstellar space in August 2012, almost 35 years after its voyage began, and according to NASA, it is still operational, sending information back to Earth about its amazing journey. As of November 2017, Voyager 1 was at a distance of about 141 AU from the Sun, which is about 13 billion miles away, and, amazingly, it will not be overtaken by any other current craft. Voyager 1's next big encounter will take place in 40,000 years, when it passes the star Gliese 445. However, the spacecraft will not be transmitting any information from this distant location as the probe's power supply is dwindling. Scientists hope that it will continue operating until the 2020s, but even after the probe powers down, it will continue speeding through the cosmos for eons, and it will always hold the record for being the first craft to go where no other man-made object has been making it a pretty amazing human achievement. I really hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos, hit the like button and subscribe for much much more to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.